So you're thinking about moving to Annandale, Virginia? But you'd kind of like to know the good and the bad about living in Annandale before you decide to make that move? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. We're gonna share with you the pros and the cons of living in Annandale, Virginia. So if you're thinking about making that big move, be sure to stick around, cause we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time at the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to know when a new video is uploaded each and every week. My name's Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. So as I mentioned, today we're gonna be covering the pros and the cons of living in Annandale, Virginia. And we're gonna start off with the cons because by popular demand, you all request that we always start with the bad. So the number one con of living in Annandale, Virginia is high cost of living. And yes, that is a recurring theme for Northern Virginia. Annandale is no exception. Annandale is about 39% higher than the national average for overall cost of living. And for housing, Annandale really comes in high. It's 121% higher than the national average. Rent also is on the high side. It's 104% higher than the national average. This is very common for Northern Virginia. Annandale is definitely no exception. It's just because of the location, proximity to DC, cost of living in general in Northern Virginia is on the high side. Con number two about Annandale, Virginia, there is no metro station. Now, that said, there are copious amounts of metro bus stops all throughout Annandale. But if you are looking to move to a city that has an actual metro station, well, Annandale may not be your best option. There are two metro stations that are nearby Annandale. First one is Dunloring, and then the other one is West Falls Church. Both are anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, just depending on where you live in Annandale. So certainly not far, but again, if you are looking for a place that actually has a metro station in the city, well, Annandale should not be at the top of your list. Con number three about life in Annandale, there's not a lot of entertainment. Now, there is a lot of entertainment very close by within you know, 10, 15 minutes, but in Annandale itself, it really is lacking. There's no movie theater, there is no top golf, there's no escape room. Entertainment options are definitely eh, not too plentiful in Annandale. Now, there is a bowling alley and there are a couple lounges in the Annandale area, but overall, if you're looking for entertainment, you're probably going to have to either drive somewhere or take a bus to be able to partake. Con number four for Annandale, this one could be a little subjective, it depends on what you like, but Annandale in general lacks big box stores. So you're not gonna find a Target, a Walmart, a Home Depot, a Lowe's, Bed Bath & Beyond. None of those are in Annandale. Again, they are very close by, along with Tyson's Corner Galleria, if you wanna be able to have a shopping mall. Those are all very close to Annandale, but within Annandale itself, it's very interesting and somewhat unique for the area. You won't find a lot of big box stores. So now that we've gotten those cons out of the way, let's go to the pros about living in Annandale. The first pro about living in Annandale is proximity to the Beltway. No matter where you live in Annandale, you are super close with easy access to the Beltway. It makes it great for commuters. You can leave your neighborhood and within five, max 10 minutes, you can hop on the Beltway. And depending on what side of Annandale you live on, you will also be close to 395, which makes for commuting into DC super convenient as well. 
Pro number two about living in Annandale is it is a super diverse community. Niche.com ranked Annandale number four most diverse places to live in Virginia, and I can definitely attest to that. You will find all walks of life in Annandale. People are super friendly there. There's a true sense of community. And Annandale also has one of the largest Korean American communities in all of Virginia. Definitely the largest in DC. Pro number three of life in Annandale, the dining. There are so many restaurants in Annandale and their dining scene is really diverse, which I love as well. Even if you're just craving a simple burger, they have it, but if you want some authentic Korean barbecue, they have that as well. They've got a full spectrum, anything you could possibly be craving, Annandale has you covered. Silverado is a really popular spot. It's part of the great American restaurant chain. Don't forget to check out their Aussie rolls. So good. Honey Pig Barbecue, um, that's one of my favorite Korean barbecue places, but the competition is stiff here for Korean barbecue, so there could be some differing opinions on which one is the absolute best. And really anything that you might like, you can get it in Annandale. Bakeries, uh, mom and pop restaurants. There aren't a ton of chain restaurants, but they do exist if you just wanna grab you know, a quick bite of fast food, that's certainly an option too but the dining scene in Annandale has something for everybody. Pro number four is the parks. Annandale did it right. When they set aside recreational space in the city, they really did a phenomenal job. There are so many different parks that you can go to. Mason District Park, Holmes Run Valley Stream Park, Eakin Park, Annandale Community Park, Jerry Connolly Cross Country Trail, the options are endless and they go from really large parks that have you know shelters and amphitheaters and tennis courts to just your neighborhood pocket parks that you can just stroll over if you live in the area and wander around. Annadale truly did a phenomenal job making sure that green space was set aside for people to enjoy. So that pretty much covers a summary of the pros and cons of living in Annadale, Virginia. Don't get me wrong, we could go on for hours and hours about the different pros and cons and what life is like in Annandale. We just wanted to give you a quick summary to try to help you make that decision when making your move to Northern Virginia. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.